Hello and welcome to the Old Flyers. The Space Shuttle Challenger was launched on a cold January morning in 1986 to carry seven crew into space. 73 seconds into the flight at 14 kilometres above the Atlantic Ocean, Challenger exploded. President Reagan honoured the brave astronauts in a speech to the nation. 19 years ago, almost to the day, we lost three astronauts in a terrible accident on the ground. But we've never lost an astronaut in flight. We've never had a tragedy like this. And perhaps we've forgotten the courage it took for the crew of the shuttle. But they, the Challenger 7, were aware of the dangers, but overcame them and did their jobs brilliantly. They had a hunger to explore the universe and discover its truths. They wished to serve, and they did. They served all of us. An inquiry laid the blame for the tragedy on a failure of two rubber O-rings. These were meant to seal a joint between the two lower segments of the right-hand solid rocket booster. Severe cold had allowed a path for hot exhaust gas to escape from inside the booster through the seal. Engines throttling up, three engines now at 104%. Challenger, go with throttle up. One minute, 15 seconds. Velocity, 2,900 feet per second. Altitude, 9 nautical miles. Downrange distance, 7 nautical miles. The Rogers Commission faulted contractor Morton Thiokol in Ogden, Utah, for poor engineering and management. It was Morton Thiokol who manufactured the booster motors and assembled them at the Kennedy Space Center. The commission heard disturbing testimonies from a number of engineers who had been expressing concern about the reliability of the cells for at least two years and who had warned superiors about a possible failure the night before the launch. This is all old news to most people, but what consequences did Morton Thiokol suffer? Did anyone go to jail? Who are they anyway? Thiokol was founded in 1929 by Bevis Longstreth to market a synthetic rubber invented by two chemists, Joseph Patrick and Nathan Morkin, in 1926. They had been trying to invent an inexpensive antifreeze. Ironic, isn't it? In 1945, Charles Bartley found that this synthetic rubber could be used as a stabiliser in solid rocket motors. In 1974, Thiokol won the contract to build boosters for space shuttles. Thiokol, variously known as Thiokol Chemical Corporation or Company, has been known as Morton Thiokol Incorporated, Cordon Technologies Incorporated, Thiokol Propulsion, Alcoa Industrial Components Group, part of Alliant Tech Systems Inc., ATK Thiokol, ATK Launch Systems Group, and finally Orbital ATK before becoming part of Northrop Grumman Innovation Systems and Northrop Grumman. Thiokol's other products included a short burn rocket motor used in aircraft ejection seats. They also produced a number of the earliest practical airbag systems. Thiokol bags were first used in US military aircraft before being adapted to space exploration. The Mars Pathfinder bounced down on Mars on Thiokol airbags. These high-speed sodium azide exothermic gas generators formed the core of more than 60% of automotive airbags sold worldwide. So, did Thiokol suffer as a result of Challenger? There were lawsuits and damage to its reputation 
and a token NASA suspension from contracting with them for a period. Changes were made in Thiokol's management and engineering processes. Overall, fairly insubstantial consequences, I would argue. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to promote new content.